Tabasco in or mm -hmm. something? Yeah. yeah, why not? Why? That's righteous. Front mic, right? We're gonna go towards Flora. Oh, we're towards Flora? Yeah. Jesse, slide the boomstick up here. Where is it? In the back. He was part drive. In his, in his initial Not report, bad. which you <laughs> careful dog. that too. Step, he was parked down here watching us with binoculars for two and a half hours. Well, right, this up. right down the street? Yeah. Right down here. What? I don't know how. Pulled right in there. Well, that was, that's where he was sitting? Yep, that's where he was sitting. Yep. It's too dumb to tell the difference between paintball and real gunfire. Yeah. Pretty much, in my opinion, is can't tell the difference, you need a desk job. <laughs> well, he's a game warden, right? No. Now, how's the game warden down here? Obviously, around here, really ain't one. Yeah, they're, 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 I mean, a lot of people down south say the game wardens have more power. They do. Them. They do. But so, they cannot enter out buildings, anything like that, without a search warrant. They can search your tackle box, your boat, your camper, any of these items, but they cannot enter out buildings. So that's why they've called the sheriff's probably to back you up. Doesn't back they can't either. They can't either. No. Nope. Not without the the landowner's permission, which we all clearly know that I never get permission <laughs> at any given time. Yeah. They just went in, pretty much guns drawn like the Gestapo, and went through everything. You got it. Though. No, um, and they went. They went. My original charges were a Chinese throwing star, an owl's foot. When I was like, I don't know, seven or eight years old, my dad hit an owl. It came up out of the ditch at night and he hit it. It was so stuck, in the, it was stuck in the grill, yeah. So and I that's illegal to have an yeah, owl? Yeah, I cut his feet off. We're going left. That's correct. And um, so called paraphernalia, which uh, ended up being a wooden box because there was no marijuana in the one hitter box or a pipe. So it was simply a container. That was my, that was my original charges. The bail on it was like, I want to say $250. But as soon as they shuffled all of us away, loaded you got eight of you guys in a car that only had five seat belts. Yeah. Just whisk you off the scene, whisk me off to jail. They were in my house. Yeah. Definitely. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, they said that they saw, I believe, uh, movement. Well, no, they saw a, a, a gun through the door. I think so? It was a, it was a red that is, rider. That, there was one in the corner of yeah. that, you know, every I corner of the house. A, I think it was a red rider maybe gun, to be honest. Oh, so. well, maybe. Different choice of music. Yeah, well. Like, give me back my bullets would be good. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how's the thing going at the post office? Still fighting them. It's been almost a year now. They, the day I was to go down and uh, have the meeting with, for the proposed removal, I went with a lawyer clearly because they would have screwed me otherwise. Yeah. Um, the OIG, the basically the inspector general of the post office, basically like the man, postal inspectors. Yeah. That day he called and said that they realized that my charges had been dropped. Yeah. It got dropped on April 17th, and then the appeal got ixnayed on uh, August something. So yeah, they just now were admitting to that. So it's pretty sad, and they were supposed to call me back a week after this meeting, and well, they, uh, coming up on two weeks this Friday, so. Oh, so, so you don't even have a meeting set at this point? No, I already had the meeting, and then yeah. they were <laughs> supposed to give the results of the, the meeting. Oh, and then, yeah. And, and that was, the the meeting, yeah. yes. I mean, two weeks. And tomorrow. they don't have a deadline to give you an answer? Well, my lawyer pushes the issue. He's really good about not letting them dick dance around. Is it the same lawyer? No. Steve Dillon, Dillon's only criminal defense. Uh, Kim Louder is um, a, labor, a labor lawyer. He knows all the posts.
coastal uh, arbitration, which would be like case law. Yeah. He knows all that type of stuff. So, and clearly he was the only lawyer in the room. So it's kind of like trying to argue with someone that's went to school for 12 years to argue. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> one-sided. Yeah. Really didn't get you anywhere. Especially when you don't know what the hell you're talking about. He gets paid to go argue the point. Yeah. That's $250 an hour. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. He basically told them that uh, they better consider what they're doing because uh, you can't fire someone simply on being arrested. Um, seeing how all and any evidence against me has been dropped, which means it can't be brought up in any other court, any of the land. Um, basically said that they should seek legal counsel before making their decisions <laughs> since how they're not lawyers. Yeah. They better think it that's through cool. or we're going to uh, really yeah, stick it in I'm their sound, ass. That's sounding good. Yeah, he let him out of it. He's real, kind of like my other lawyer, real soft-spoken but real to the point. Yep. Well, that's, you know, they're educated in the ways. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Steve Dillon, my criminal defense lawyer, an amazing man. Been uh, practicing law for 33 years. How old is he? An older guy? Uh, I'd say, I don't know, you don't, you don't look really old, but if he's been practicing law for 33 years, he's got to at least be yeah, I think late 50s, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But yeah, he's outstanding. He's from Lafayette originally. He's really And where's really he based out of? In Annapolis, in Indiana. You don't have him. Did you call him again? No, you will. You'll, you'll call him when we get to the courthouse. Okay. Just tell him who you are, what you're doing. He's probably not in because, like I said, he never he's is. the only normal law lawyer yeah. in the whole state of Indiana in the directory. He is the only one. Really? Oh, yes, and he's so good. <laughs> he's so good. Is that how you found him? Because he was the only one in the... No, my buddy, actually a real good friend of mine, um, James Kimbrell, he, research, he researches stuff for a living for insurance companies and stuff like that. Um, he's just really...